These are front engine roadsters, and uh, they were very popular here at the race at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And then they eventually went to the rear engine car late in the, mid to late 60s. But these cars were these cars are the real deal now. Um, they're actually walking. They're actually driving on a, like right on a time bomb. Uh, if you look at some of the, some of where the gas tanks are located, you can see where the fuel was at. Bomb, driving a bomb. It's a fuel tank. Right here is where the race is won. It's in pits. This is your teamwork. This is where you count on your team to get you out in front of everybody. Get out in front of all the bad air. If you're in the back of the pack, boy, it's bad air. The car doesn't handle very well. So a lot of pit strategy in here. This is where the race is won and lost, right in here. What an awesome facility. the god of IndyCar racing, Roger Penske. Everybody says a bow. They're tearing these cars down to the tubs right now. They're getting ready to practice on Friday. And uh, after, every, after every session, they'll tear them down right down the tub and check all the parts, make sure there's not too much stress. And they're under a lot of load in the corners here now. That motor right there costs you, I don't know, what do you think? 250000 bucks, 300 grand, something funny. These are all winning cars. Let's go take a look. Alancer, Rick Mears. These are Penske cars. That's Gordon John Cox, second win. Helio Castroneves. Yeah. Johnny Lightning cars. You probably don't remember that because you weren't even born. No. I was I was I was old enough to play with little matchbox Johnny Lightning cars, so that was a big deal if I could ever get one of those. I think I had one when I was about five or six or seven years old. There you go. There's the museum. Pretty cool. Most famous straightaway in racing right here. Uh, dude, give me a little room. Oh, don't give me a room. It's okay. Crushing the yard of bricks. How cool is that? What a neat experience. That's where you gotta run. Very, very cool. There you have it. These guys, Jeremy, Willie, they, uh, they they sold you out a little bit. Now you got to take a ride around the track, which right. is something they do on Community Day. Right. So you and you drove your vehicle. I drove my vehicle. I'm told that you tried to pass someone. I did on the straightaway. I did try to pass, and I had to put on the brakes. Yeah. They're trying, to, they're trying to rub oh, me up against the wall. <laughs> I was competing, trying to compete, and the guy's taking pictures. Trying to rub me down against the wall here. Said so to stop, put the brakes on. I was getting ready to pass him. So yeah. who was the aggressor here? I oh, was. You, okay, you were the aggressor. All right, so so this guy's taking pictures. He's going a little too slow for you. Too slow. He's got to go. Yeah. Now, it's a 30 it's a mile an, It's a 30-mile-an-hour limit today. They didn't tell me that. I was, I was going 60, 65, 70. <laughs> So, I, don't, I, yeah. I don't think you were doing 65 or 70, were you, really? Oh, I so said I was. Coach. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't tell me anything about a limit. They tell you about a speed limit? Not not a word, see? Um, the fitness part of what you do, I don't think people really, the average average fan doesn't understand what a race car driver has to do from a fitness standpoint and conditioning. Could you kind of explain to everybody, you know, what your normal routine throughout the year is? Well, it, uh, it, 
conveniently with Indy coming at the end of May, you know, the, the, the tipping point for me or the, the, the switch is really the start of the new year. And um, as it is for a lot of people getting, getting ready for anything, whether it's going to the beach or going to the Indy 500. But I trained for so many years in, in a pretty traditional fashion. I would, I would run a lot and I would spend a lot of time in the gym. It got a little boring and I started to realize after time that that wasn't the most productive thing for driving the race car. So I've got kind of a uh, much more of a diverse cross training schedule now. The best thing that I do to train for racing is boxing. It's, uh, it's a challenge, that's uh, you, for sure. Do you train for that? I mean, be honest with you, being, being in athletics, do you have to do, do, you, do you train? I mean, that's you have to make decisions and you have to, you have to train your eyes and, and get your eyes focused on have, colors and numbers. You know what? It, all kidding aside, it, it's interesting. I mean, it's interesting you ask that. Knowing the cars, what I do is during, you know, I have the good fortune of the fact that I work each race during the course of the season. So just. By being around it, you automatically know the number and the color scheme associated. So you cover the whole series all year right. long. Right. I do all 19 races, so that helps. Right. But at Indy, it's different because there's different sponsorship, right. and a lot of times the color schemes change. So I will come out and just walk around it during the practice days, you know, everything that comes up to it. By the time the race comes around, I've done the qualifying, I've seen the practices, to the point where it's pretty much... You're familiar with it. Right. Yeah. Well, what a day. We uh, spent some time in the garage and pulling you greenhorns behind me. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I love, love, uh, I love showing off the, what I think is the greatest uh, sporting event in the world. Um, we were able to, uh, to go to uh, tour the uh, museum and went through some old uh, cars there that were winning cars. Uh, interviewed some real good, cool personalities. Obviously, uh, Townsend Bell was a, was a great interview, a great driver. Um, obviously, the, the men behind the, the, the press and the, and the media uh, behind this great race was, was fun to hear their perspective. Uh, and then we took a lap around the speedway, which is, uh, I've never done before, and that was awesome with my own car. So uh, it was a great day, and look forward to Sunday. I can hardly wait for the race and do it again next year.